Welcome back to the Skewered Universe podcast. My name is Jeff. I'm Leanne. We're back again. This is Sleigh Bells Ring, Are You Frightened a Month? <laughs> and we know it is after Christmas, technically, but isn't all of December about the joy of dismemberment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, people celebrate Christmas pretty much all month long, right up until New Year's, right? I'm drinking hot cocoa right now. Exactly. We, we do hope you guys all had a very good Christmas. Hope it was filled with love, laughter, slaughter, blood, gore, <laughs> gifts galore. There you go. That was off the top of my head. You're a poet. And I didn't even know it. Mm-hmm. All right. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. That's the show for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot went on with us. We had a very low-key holiday. Uh, pull back the curtain. We're not really feeling the spirit in the last couple of years, just with personal shit going on, loss of loved ones and all that. So, yeah, but we do hope you guys enjoy yours. Yeah. Anyway, what we do find joy in is doing this theme month for you. The only the only thing I can say that we had happen to us was our old TV went out finally. Yeah. So we had to replace it. Yeah. Old Bessie, she she served us well over them years. Had that TV for a long fucking time. Yeah. So the fact that we earlier this year, back in May, only had to change out the power supply and we got it to go to the end of the year, basically. I'll yeah. That. It's like well over 10 years. Thank you for your service and sing me a 32-inch HD television. <laughs> we'll remember you fondly. And this is where they would cue the memorial video with all the memories no. 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 Okay. Well, anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's get to it. Leanne, what are we watching tonight? The Advent Calendar. Si vous regardez ceci, c'est que vous avez reçu un calendrier de l'Avent. Respectez les règles. Certi! Qu'est-ce que tu fais là? Joyeux anniversaire. Respect toutes les règles jusqu'à l'ouverture de la dernière fenêtre, sinon je te tue. Attention, t'en avales un, faut les avaler tous. Jésus dit au paralytique qu'il lève-toi et marche. Tu devrais arrêter avec ce calendrier, ça va te rendre dingue. Prends bien tes médocs contre tes hallucinations, tout ça. Je marche. Je marche. Bon anniversaire. Tu devrais arrêter d'avaler toutes ces saloperies là. Ton calendrier va exiger d'autres sacrifices. D'autres personnes vont devoir mourir. Cette nuit, tu me fous la paix. That is correct. It is available on Shutter for anyone who wants to go check it out. It is a French movie from 2021. TVMA, of course. Another foreign horror for Sleigh Bells Ring Are You Frightened Month here in the Skiri Universe. <laughs> we're, we're more than happy to dive into foreign horror. We don't mind it. Subtitles are great. They work just fine for us. That being said, should we just go ahead and jump in? I uh, yeah. I mean, sure. We do you do you want to give a description of what the movie is? <laughs> we can. Uh, first, I, do you, did you have anything you wanted to talk about before we dive in? I was so rude that I didn't even ask you. No. <laughs> okay. But I, I, you know, I was expecting the typical back and forth, and there was. It's fine. Yeah, there, there wasn't a whole lot on my end, and I didn't even think, so I was being rude, so I apologize. When are you not being rude? 
basically when I'm sleeping. Well, not even then. <laughs> not even then. You're pretty inconsiderate yeah. when you sleep. Yeah. Snoring or farting. I mean, pretty much, every, yeah, just offensive 24-7. <laughs> so the description we have for the advent calendar is, Ava has been paraplegic for the past three years. When her birthday arrives, she receives a strange advent calendar as a gift. But instead of the traditional sweets, every day reveals something different. Sometimes pleasant, but often terrifying. And increasingly bloody. bloody. It's going to be a very deadly Christmas this year. And this is a Shudder original, ladies and gentlemen. It's funny that you say that with your voice in lower caps when on the TV it is in upper caps. Yeah, I didn't want to shout. I shut her original! Yeah, I'm not trying to deafen our audience. <laughs> I'd like them to come back and listen to more. We don't have video where somebody's doing sign language interpretation. Yeah. So, we gave them a description. Shall we jump into it? Let's jump into it. All right, we'll talk to you guys in just a moment. Ben Franklin has everything in Christmas trimmings. Come see their complete selection of home and tree decorations. Beautiful tree lights, tree trimming, window decorations, and much, much more. It's true, Ben Franklin has the biggest and best selection in town. Christmas sweets are a must. They feature kitchen fresh, delicious Christmas candies at reasonable prices. And you'll get helpful, friendly service at Ben Franklin and Williston and Crosby. The Williston store will be open every night till Christmas, and the Crosby store will be open evenings starting December 4th. 15 minutes in already to the advent calendar. Yeah, got right into it. Yeah, didn't waste any time. I appreciate that. Right right to introducing us to Ava, and then it's her birthday, here's her present of the advent calendar. Which I want to say is a very gorgeous handcrafted wooden advent calendar. Of course it would be gorgeous and handcrafted. All horrible things in horror <laughs> movies are. <laughs> It's, it's it's also German, which, eek, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know the time era of which yeah. this is from. Yeah. I will say, though, a lot of German stuff like that, like the old cuckoo clocks and that, are remarkable craftsmanship. So this just speaks to that. I don't know if it's really German crafted, but they did a good job making it look that way. So what are your thoughts so far? Do you got anything, your notes or anything like that you want to share? Of course I do. Of course. Then you I know me. over to you. You know how I do? I do. Okay. So when the movie starts, we see her swimming in a community pool. Mm -hmm. She's swimming. Normal. Everything's fine. She gets up on the ledge, you know, swimming, but like putting her arms on the ledge. And this dude swims <laughs> up next to her. And he's like, oh my god, you're beautiful. Do you come here often? And she's like, <sighs> like whatever, and swims away to a different ledge. And he's like, oh, I'm going to swim to you. And he's like, so anyway, like I was saying, and she goes, can you get my chair for me, please? And he gets her her chair. Mm -hmm. She pulls herself up. You can see she's very muscular. Very, you know, she she knows how to yeah. be physical. And along the muscles in her back, you see a scar. And this guy immediately starts singing a different tune. Not out loud, but she knows. And you can see the look on his face changes from like, oh, you too, oh. And she's oh. like, so anyway, you were saying? And then just <laughs> wheels away. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I knew I knew you weren't going to say much more. Bye. Then we see her um, going home using disability transport. She feeds her dog and she eats dinner alone. As she's getting ready for bed, I assume she has a PTSD flashback. That's what it seemed like, because she had taken some medication, and then it looked like something related to her accident that caused her to be a paraplegic. Yeah, you see a bright light coming toward her, and it sounds like maybe she got in a car accident or something. Yeah. Then we see her at work. She's an insurance agent, and her boss is very mad at her. Yeah. By the way, he also looks very French. <laughs> After a conversation with her boss that, you know, he's a dickhead, we can tell he's a dickhead, right. she calls her dad's house and a strange woman answers. And uh, she's like, I just wanted to check in on my dad. And the woman says, he doesn't even remember you. He's busy. He's got stuff to do. 
Yeah. And that's that. I'm like, oh, okay. Then she goes home, and one of her friends visits. She gives her wine and an advent calendar. Yep. The advent calendar on the back says, dump it and I will kill you. And we're like, oh, shit, okay. Very ominous. She opens the first one, and it's a chocolate along with some rules, right? I didn't write down all of the rules because I suck. Do you happen to remember what they are? The first one was, each day is filled with a treat. Eat one and eat them all or I'll kill you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was taking a drink, so I didn't expect to have to say a whole, whole lot. I'm not sure of the other rules. I think it was basically, don't open them before midnight or I'll kill you. Follow the rules or I'll kill you. Dump it and I'll kill you. Okay. Basically, a lot of it is, do this or you die. Right. And I want to say here, we've seen her open a couple of these, and there have been these shots of what looks like a demonic entity. I'm not she sure. She eats it and a creature awakens. There you go. Thank you. I'll let you get back to what you're <laughs> you're, you're like, hey, can you uh, describe what's happening? So anyway. Uh... Hey, let me take over as a man, because you obviously can't do it as a woman. You know, you've taken wow. notes. I haven't. Wow. Girl. Wow. I So anyway, she opens okay. more, and it looks like it's waking up, continu- like it's continuing to right. wake up. She tries to open one early, but it's jammed, so weird. Well, as she and her friend talk, the calendar starts speaking. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? What the fuck is it saying? Because it's in German, and uh, it's saying it's midnight now. It was letting her know it's okay to open it now. Yeah. It's midnight. Open the door. It's midnight. Open the door. Luckily, her friend speaks German, so she's able to translate this stuff for her. Yeah. And so she goes and opens it. I forget what the last one was. Was it just a chocolate? It was a little, like, Jesus treat or statuette type thing. Mm-hmm. And it said, Jesus said to the cripple, arise and walk. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then she eats a last candy. I don't, you know, she opened a couple of them, so I don't know which one she ate. This was the one that was her dad's favorite that she thought her friend stuck in there as kind of a little funny thing to do. And then her phone starts shaking. Yeah. Not like it's ringing, like it's shaking, and it happens to be making that a slight ringing sound because of the metal. Mm -hmm. And she answers it. And it's her dad telling her happy birthday. And that's it. And she, what we're looking at right now is her calling back. What <laughs> That's what it looks like. She's maybe star 69ing. Yeah. She got the call on a landline, so now she's on her cell phone calling it back. So. Oh, okay. Or calling her dad, I think, to see. So far, I'm intrigued. This is very interesting. Yeah, for sure. It's not. It's not slow. They're getting right to it. Like, hey, look. You this wanted to see a scary movie about an advent calendar? Here you go. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> We're getting right to it. You're going to know the rules. You're going to know what's happening. Here's our main character. Off we go. Yep. I appreciate that. Yeah. And it's funny that we're doing back-to-back French horror films, too, since Deadly Games was French as well. That was an accident, but yeah. a happy one at that. Happy one. Want to jump back in? Let's get it. All right. We'll be right back. Friday, a holiday tradition for 21 years. I've killed it. It's time once again for America's favorite Charlie Brown adventure. It's an Emmy award-winning special. It's a Charlie Brown Christmas. Then he's back, the original cool guy. And this time he's going to melt your heart. So chill out with Frosty the Snowman. Share the holiday spirit Friday on CBS. Another 15 minutes in. 15 minutes in. I was say I'm really digging this. Aside from, well, we'll we'll get to what made me feel uncomfortable and was gross. But <laughs> I know you have more notes to go to. So shall yeah. I yield? Shall I give you the floor and yield my time? Yeah. All right. So where we last left off, um, she received a call mm-hmm. from her dad, wishing her a happy birthday, which was really weird. Then we see her at work, and she tries calling her dad, and he's not answering. Right. Then she has a work meeting. Her boss tells her, so-and-so is going to be taking over your work. 
essentially, it seems like it's her. She's training her replacement, right? Um, as she's checking out her replacement, she's got her shoes off. She's cracking her toes. Ugh. She's making inappropriate comments about her being in a chair, and. <laughs> just like, where did it even come from she's like oh i don't you're so brave i couldn't do it she's like do what live work work like that like what because <laughs> you know it makes a gesture for a wheelchair mm -hmm. they're just looking at her like you fucking cunt right <laughs> so her friend picks her up and they go back to her place and she tells her about the weird call she got Mm -hmm. Her friend asks if she's been taking her anti-hallucination pills, and we're like, hmm. Yeah. Turns out, she stole the calendar, so of course she gets cursed, probably. It's a cursed one. Yeah. Awesome, we love that. It's never good to steal these things, people. And she's like, you know what, let's go out. Let's meet up with my boyfriend, Boris, and uh, maybe he'll get us dinner or something. Well, they go to the club, and it's a surprise double date. He brought his friend. Seems like a decent guy. A lot more decent than Boris. Boris doesn't give a shit about anything. He's no. clearly an asshole. <laughs> right? So, as they leave the club, the friend says, Hey, Boris's friend wants to get drinks with me by myself, and I'm going. Boris is going to take you home. Yeah. As Boris is getting ready to take her home, he snorts some coke. I mean, I assume it's coke. And, you know, starts to drive her home. And she's sleepy because, you know, they were drinking and it's been a long day. She's tired. She wakes to him, wake up, wakes up to him raping her. And she fights yeah. back. He eventually just kicks her. He tries to, you know, force her to go down on him, but she's like, Fuck no. Yeah, because she woke up to him using his hand oh, inappropriately. Oh, was that what it was? It I was thought like, he was... Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, you haven't even said anything. What's going on? She's like, I can't feel anything, asshole. I'm a paraplegic. I thought you were just playing playing like, with it. And I'm like, no. dick. So he kicks her the fuck out, kicks out her wheelchair, and as he's driving away, she wishes he were dead. As soon as she wishes that, the advent calendar opens up, and a tiny little car rolls out. And as as he drives away, we see the dog, her dog, get a hold of the car. Mm -hmm. And starts, right? The next time we see her, she's sitting at a park. There's like a lake. It's a nice park. Her friend calls and is like, hey, did you hear about Boris? He's dead. It was crazy. She's like, okay, well, that's yeah. weird, because I just got this link that he said he was going to send, and how did he send it if he's dead? Yeah. The friend is like, hang on, I'll be right there. She shows up. They talk for a bit. She's very dismissive about her concerns, which is typical in horror films. There's always that yeah. one friend that's like, so anyway, you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. And then she fucking downloads the trading app. Like, did you click the link? She goes, no. Ava's like, no, I have, basically, like, I have no interest in it. I told that fucking asshole no. And her friend's like, I'm gonna click it anyway. Oh, look, you got 457 euros. Yep. She's like, okay, so anyway, I'm gonna be leaving for a couple of weeks. Bye! <laughs> so then yeah. she, we noticed that she wants love. She wants mm -hmm. romance. She wants a relationship. Right. As she's at the park, she sees this cute guy. He doesn't know she exists. And that night, as she's sleeping, the advent calendar starts chiming. It's midnight, bitch. Open me the fuck yeah. up. It's midnight. And it's she's midnight. like, look, not tonight, calendar. Just not right now. And she shuts it off. And it says something else in German. And yeah. we're like, what? And she opens it up. And it's a candy. A red heart. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I, I do want to add, uh, Boris, the asshole rapist, he was sitting in his car. Whacking off. Whacking off. Because when he was assaulting Ava, he told her, well, can you feel with your mouth and tried to force 
Mm-hmm. It's like everything where I'm like, you deserve everything that's coming to you. <laughs> yeah. You, you actually deserved a lot worse. Mm-hmm. But it was cool to see that whatever the dog did with this little scale replica, exact replica of his vehicle happened to him. The dog bit it and cracked the windshield on the toy and his windshield cracks. He's going, what the fuck is that? <laughs> The next thing you see is the dog's throwing this thing around and his car's going all over the place. Like, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you deserve that. Mm-hmm. But, oh, it's good. I haven't seen anything like this before. Yeah, no. All the Christmas movies we've seen are a typical Santa goes crazy or people kill Santa Claus. Yeah. And it's like, okay, what else is there? Oh, well, there's Krampus. Ooh, okay. Well, what else? <laughs> I, I really, I really love Krampus, though. I don't mean that specific Krampus movie. I ah, mean literally okay. any movie about Krampus. Yeah. So this is very different. And I actually, you gave me three options, and I chose this one based on the title alone, because the other ones were not that great. What were yeah. the other ones? 1984's Don't Open Till Christmas. Meh. And 2015's A Christmas Horror Story. Meh. Which, again, had a Santa Claus fighting against evil, like, zombie elves and Krampus. Mm-hmm. And then Don't Open Till Christmas was, I think, basically a slasher set in England or mm-hmm. the UK somewhere. So, slashers aren't really your thing, so... Um, it depends on the type of slasher. Give me Freddy. Freddy's a slasher. True, true. I'm more of the psychological thrashers, uh, slashers. And and crashers and bashers. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think bottom line is we're enjoying this so far. Yeah. It's very, like I said, it's different than anything I've seen, but it's not boring in any way. No. I'm I'm intrigued to see what's happening, and I like the main character. And the notes are very easy to take. Good. I'm glad. Sometimes I know you're like, oh, (laughs) there's this way. Uh, I know Skins was a hard one. Oh, that was tough. For. That oh, was tough. <laughs> you you nailed it, though. You did a great job. But I know other ones, it's like, look, there's so much going on. I think I'm with Skins, gonna... I actually gave up, like, halfway through, and I was like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> like, I, I can't. It's it's jumping around. It's going to everybody's. Well, you know what? You guys go back and listen, and you'll understand what we're talking about. Go yeah. listen to Skins. It was anyway, really good. It was. Suck my butthole mouth. <laughs> All right, so shall we jump back into the advent calendar? Yes, sir. Let's do that. All right, here's a brief intermission. It starts tomorrow. Sears before Christmas sale at after Christmas prices. You'll save on hundreds of items throughout the store. Save $50 on a Kenmore refrigerator freezer. Save on a selection of Mrs. and Junior robes. Save on color TV. And save $120 on a microwave oven. Use your Sears credit card during Sears before Christmas sale at after Christmas prices. There's more for your life this year. Things are getting pretty weird for Ava. I don't think she's having a good time with this advent calendar. She might be soon. Maybe. Maybe. The last we saw, she had gotten Mm -hmm. a candy that was a red heart. And we were like, hmm. Then we see her at what looks to be an outdoor cafe or something. And there's red chairs. She's wearing a red beanie. Things are red. And a red heart passes by her. It's a balloon. Hmm. Weird. Symbolism. And then we see the cute guy from the park. Yep. And all of a sudden, he's like, I'm going to walk over there to her. And he walks over there. He's like, hey, I'm so-and-so. I'm a nurse. (laughs) Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, my God, you're so cute. And they wind up talking through the evening. Mm Mm-hmm. Apparently, they get along really well. They exchange numbers, and that night she waits in bed with the calendar on her lap. She then puts his number into her phone, Mm -hmm. and the next one she opens in the calendar is a clock. Her app says, um, you know, you've gone so many days without investing, and she falls asleep for four days. She wakes up, <clears throat> goes to work. Her boss is fucking pissed. He is insulting her, calling her half a woman and this and that. That was fucked up. Awful. Well, she's like, you know what? I'm going to call my new boyfriend to come pick me up. 
he picks her up and she starts explaining to him the weird shit. She's like, look, there's, there's weird shit going on. And he's like, right. maybe stop taking your pills. <laughs> maybe don't take them anymore. <laughs> well, he leaves and she decides she's going to line up the wrappers. And she realizes that there's a logo. Mm -hmm. They collectively on the backs show a logo. So if you put them all together, it's uh, one logo. Yeah. She decides to invest in the company that is the logo. Right. She immediately gains nine cents. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, that night, she puts books on the calendar. She's like, please leave me the fuck alone tonight, please. Yeah. Well, when she goes to bed, and it's just the calendar and the dog, the calendar turns red. Yeah. And then one of the, it, I think it says Marvin, which is the name of the dog. Mm -hmm. And one of the doors opens and inside is a cute little dog treat. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> so the next morning she's eating breakfast. She's looking at the app and now the app is telling her she's making decent money. Yeah. She, and she is cracking up. She thinks it's great. She wants to tell Marvin, Marvin. Marvin, Marvin, Mar, where, where's Marvin? Yeah, she put his food down. He never showed up. So she opened the door, and there's Marvin covered in red. And he also had <laughs> her boss's pendant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And she's like, ugh, maybe I should call my boss. So she calls her boss. No answer. Write the voicemail. Ugh. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to start figuring shit out. She clears off a desk and just starts writing every, like, one, two, three, like, all the days of the calendar. All the, She takes all the wrappers she's opened, puts them accordingly with the day, and then says who is representative of that day. You know, maybe the first one was her dad, or in the whatever one was right. Marvin, and this other one was Boris, Boris. or, you know. And uh she realizes number 11 is gone, and she's like looking at the dog and the dog's like mm. yeah. and she <laughs> like uh fuck well then she opens number 12 and it's a candy in the shape of a little white man that's standing mm -hmm. and she's like i'm gonna lick it she licks it and spazzes out and then she just gobbles it up she's like uh oh i better eat that shit <laughs> yeah so she gobbles it up and then she realizes through her deduction she missed one she yep. gobbles that one up. And she wakes up in the fucking hospital with Mr. Right. Mr. Dreamy McDreamy nurse yep. saying, uh, we found you outside and then you were clutching that calendar. Did you get attacked? And she's like, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't remember. And they're like, me what <laughs> yeah, he's like, we're going to run some tests. If everything's fine, you'll be going home. So that's where we're at right now. They are running yeah. some tests. And I have a feeling the tests are going to come back saying she can walk. Yeah, I got that feeling, too. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when the stuff was happening with the dog, I was like, don't tell us we're getting another French movie <laughs> where they kill the fucking dog. <laughs> it's like, I can't handle this. <laughs> Luckily, no, the dog is fine. So far. So far, the dog is fine. I can look it up on doesthedogdie.com. Do not do that. <laughs> do not do that. But did you notice her red heart where she put it? No. She dropped it into William's mulled wine at the cafe. And oh. the waitress set the tray down and was taking oh. two drinks to another table. She pulled out the heart and dropped it into his cup. Like, well, how, let's see what happens. How hard is it to know, number one, that you're in a horror film, and number two, that when you're given rules, abide by the fucking rules. She gave the candy she was supposed to eat to him. The rules were... If you eat one candy, you, you eat, eat them, them all. all. Yeah. But these move, when I see people breaking rules. <laughs> That's why she went back and ate that other one. Because if you remember, the first one was the one where her friend read the rule, read the same that said, Jesus told the cripple, arise and walk. Mm -hmm. So some shit's going down. <laughs> I don't, it's crazy. It's weird. It's kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm glad the dog hasn't died as of right now. I want to see more of the creature. Yes, I'm hoping we get to see more of that. Because mm -hmm. it's interesting and it looks different than anything we've seen before. Yeah. 
So what do you say? Let's Should we open up the back. next door? Ooh, that was good. Every once in a while, I got it's not midnight yet. Just kidding, Close. it's midnight somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to open that door. We'll be right back. A special Christmas gift from Radio Shack. The TRS-80 color computer at $100 off. Instant loading program packs turn our color TV into a game arcade. The color computer is also an education center. There are over 30 games available. And it's perfect for home management. She's right. With a programmable, expandable computer, you can do more than just play games. Why, our son's even learning how to program. Save $100 on the TRS-80 color computer. Only at Radio Shack, the computer experts. Ooh, things are getting good and creepier. I know. Man. Crazy. Whatever force is inside that advent calendar. Uh, put me down for not getting a creepy <laughs> wooden German advent calendar at any point. Well, this was a gift. Yeah. Uh, if anyone brings us a gift, tell them <laughs> I'm refusing it. Yeah. Return to sender. Yeah. Don't want it. <laughs> Amazon return at Kohl's. The last we saw, she was getting tests done. Right. Okay. Well, as she's testing, she remembers walking out of the house. Yep. And as she's in her hospital bed later, her fellow hospital roommate um has been praying yeah um and she kind of does this scary shadow thing because her uh what's her name eva eva her curtain is closed so you see like this really scary shadow like shuffling around her bed right and it's like what the who the the fuck is this what do they want Mm -hmm. right but it's a hospital roommate and she's got the calendar and she hands it to her yeah. So Eva opens it up, pulls out a candy, and it's a wafer with a little cross on it, like a communion wafer. The hospital roomie says, deliver me unto evil. She just puts it right in her mouth, and she walks away. I'm glad you caught it was a communion wafer, because even on the second time where they showed it, I thought it was just like a gold chocolate coin thing. So thank you for clarifying it was a communion wafer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not familiar with religious things like that, so I would have never known. Yeah, I get it. When she gets home, she starts doing some more deducing, right? And she realizes she's winning more on the app. Right. Like, what the fuck is up with... Like, I get that apps like that exist, but how is it tied into this? It's so creepy. On the 14th day, it notifies her she made 14,014 euros. (laughs) No. There's another thing. I'll let you continue. Okay. So she opens the next one, but she doesn't eat it. No. She goes to her dad's house. And the lady, the creepy, weird lady, is his wife. Yeah. Her wicked stepmother. Yeah, and she's selling the house. Well, she goes to talk to her dad. Dad is in a wheelchair. He doesn't speak, doesn't do much of hardly anything. Alzheimer's is really taking its toll on him. She gives him the wafer. And he remembers her. And he starts talking about the advent calendar and how it's going to be needing sacrifices. And when that time comes, can you please make sure that sacrifices me so I can join your mom? Yeah, it was really messed up. She fed him one of his favorite mints, which was the first one she took out. That connected her to her dad when he called her on her disconnected phone. And then it's like the advent calendar was speaking through it. It was really creepy. (laughs) Yeah. Then she decides to visit the nurse at the hospital. And she tells him, you know, by the way, how I got outside was because I was walking. And I suspect that this candy right here is going to help me walk. And I want you to be here Mm -hmm. to see it. And so she eats it and immediately starts convulsing she falls on the ground continues convulsing all of a sudden she comes to and she goes i can feel you i can feel your hand on my thigh yeah and then they kiss and then it's the next scene (laughs) i thought they were gonna get it on at the hospital (laughs) like he's about to lose his job we missed out on the tvma (laughs) Man was hoping for some hospital getting down. 
it's like a part of me wants to say, is that like the cleanest place to do it or the dirtiest place to do it? She wanted naughty nurses. Anyway. The hospital head. She, has, she decides to go to the community pool in her chair, of course. And that one dude is like, hey, let me know when you're done. I'll help you with the chair. She's like, okay, thank you. And then he belly flops into the into the water. <laughs> it's like he was a six-year-old in a grown man's body. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't expect him to go, look what I can do. <laughs> well, as she's swimming, the nurse realizes she left her keys in his car. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to go back to her house. I'm going to return her keys. He gets to her house and he goes to leave a voicemail of, you know, saying where he's leaving the keys. Right. And as he's getting back in his car, he realizes the door is slightly ajar. He's like, okay, I got to close that, lock it up, put the keys back, and then I'm going to head out. He goes to get back in the car, and the door is wide open. And that is a really good point when you should walk into a house. When a door is magically opening, you better walk into that house. You better do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? They're just inviting you in at this point. <laughs> like, like, of all the stupid things to do... Right. Okay. So he walks in, he sees her deductions, right? Yeah. And he's like, oh, that's, that's okay. She's, this is pretty intense. And then he sees his name. Right next to the rapper from the Little Red Candy Heart. Oh. And then the phone rings. And of course he's going to answer it because why wouldn't he? Of course. And there's a weird voice. Did you catch what it said? I didn't. Neither I think did it I. Said something in German again, maybe very faintly or garbled. It almost sounded like the voice changed. Like it m- might have been her voice at first, but then it changed to the calendar's voice. Yeah. I don't know, man. Um. So he then sees the calendar, and he notices that it's starting to etch a message for him, mm-hmm. and it's backwards, and it says, "Don't dump it." <laughs> then the dog chases him out. The dog's like, fuck you, get out of my house! Who are you? And he drives away, and she is still swimming. Well, the dog only started going after him when he picked up the calendar. Oh. So somehow the dog is linked to the calendar now and is, like, protecting it. Well, yeah, because it ate that doggy bone. Yeah, the demonic doggy bone. Mm-hmm. The... A new rap group. <laughs> The malevolent milk bone. <laughs> I don't think you can use milk bone. Trademark. Uh, fuck that. What are they going to do? Come after me on my podcast? No, it doesn't. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. I get what you mean. In the movie, yeah. Yeah. Interesting stuff going on. So right now, we've left off with him having the calendar, trying to figure out what he's going to do next. I, I, I got no idea where this is going. But I'm intrigued to see where it's going to take us. For sure. I want to see that thing come out of the calendar. Yeah, we need to see whatever demonic presence is living within this thing. Because we've gotten teased. And I need a full demonic release. Take that as you will. Yeah. Want to open another door? Let's Eat do another it. treat? Oh, yeah. All right. We'll be back. Coming Wednesday night, the Christmas classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, see Santa Claus, and an incredible snow monster in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Merry Christmas! Wednesday at 8, 7 Central and Northern, here on CBS. Fifteen more minutes out of the way, and... Things just keep spiraling further out of control. We're seeing more of the creature. We finally got to see it. And it's wearing like a mask thing. Yeah, it's really, it's different. And it's got like crosses etched into its skin. Numbers too. And numbers. It's really well done. Yeah. The last we left off, the thing was etching a message to him saying, don't dump it. Right. Right. What does that motherfucker do? Takes it out to a lake. And dumps it. Like a dumbass. Ooh. So yeah, she uh she goes swimming, he takes it to a lake, and he dumps it. 
Well, immediately the creature is like, oh, shit, it's time for me to come out and play. Mm -hmm. The guy's like, oh, shit, this is scary. I'm leaving. The creature is like, no, 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 you're coming with me, grabs him and just drags him. Yep. And let's see. She, it keeps going back and forth between him and her swimming, right? Right. So then we see her um, fall into the water or she jumps, half jumps into it. She was reaching to pull herself out of the water to enter her wheelchair and she fell back into the pool. Got it. And as she's in the water, she sees him and he's sinking. Right. So she goes to him embraces him, kisses him, and then she swims away. She comes back up, and she's not in the pool. She's in the lake, and it's nighttime. She gets out, and the creature is like, oh, hey, how's it going? Gives her a quick little embrace. You can see that it has its little mask off. What's under that mask, I wonder? I don't know, but it also was carrying... Her calendar. It's like, hey, um, somebody tried to get rid of this, but I'm returning it to you. <laughs> you should probably take it home. So then she goes home. Well, she, poof, she's at home, right? Because right. that, that's kind of how this movie has been yeah, working. There's lost time. There's instances of, like, people being in one place and then, I don't want to say teleporting, but they come to consciousness in another location. Yes, so, all of a sudden, she's at home. I think she was laying on the couch, maybe? Yeah. And so she wakes up. The calendar is wet and on the floor. And she also notices there are wet boot prints. All of a sudden, she hears knock, knock, knock. Yep. And it's Antoine, the pool guy. And he's like, I don't know how you left all your stuff there and then got home, but, uh, you know, I'm just checking to make sure you're okay. Like, are, do you need help? What's going on? And she's like, get the fuck away. Get, get away. Yeah. I'll sick my dog on you. Meanwhile, the dog's outside. He just tosses it a treat. Like, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> so I think in her mind, she saw the boot print and deduced that he somehow got her home and was in her house. Something. She's not comfortable with what's going on. Right. She decides to open another door. She eats the candy, and her vision starts getting warped. Something weird is happening. Her phone rings, and she's like, oh, shit, okay, I gotta get to my phone. She gets to the phone. That's not the phone that's ringing. Uh, what? So then... She's looking around. She Well, she's wheeling around her house, trying mm-hmm. to figure out where is that ringing coming from. Yeah, following the sound around her home. She goes to her bathroom, and her bathroom mirror has little sp- speckles of, like, light coming out of it. Mm-hmm. And she looks into the mirror in little speckles or whatever, and she sees the nurse guy. William. William at her house. And the phone was her phone that was ringing when he was there. He see, She sees him hang up the phone and walk toward the advent calendar. That's when she realizes, oh shit, whatever's happening right now, I'm in the calendar. I have to write a note. And she mm-hmm. is the one that etched the note, don't dump it. Right. She was also, she said William, and that was what he heard on the phone, but it was garbled and... See? Messed up. So you were right. You heard her voice. <laughs> right? It's weird. So the message was her. Okay. Well, then it's time to open another one. And time to open another door. Well, this time a knife comes out and she pulls it out and it has blood on it and it has a little symbol on it and it looked like a a bear? Oh no, it was a dog. Was a dog. And guess, yeah. okay, we're not, okay, we're not there yet. So, all of a sudden, I don't know if it's the same creature or, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. grabs her by the throat. His, his, his hand is darker now. Yeah, because she set the knife, she threw the knife down, like, nope, 
nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing what you want. Mm-hmm. Breaking a rule. Well, guess what? The next day, her bestie shows up with her new boyfriend, of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. And we see the bloody dog in Ava's arms, and she's holding the knife. Yeah. So, guess what, guys? The dog does die. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we don't yeah. see it this time. <laughs> we don't get to see it this time. It's just sad to know that this loyal companion of hers was killed by her hand as a sacrifice for this fucking calendar demon. Yeah. Ugh. Well, uh, the friend and the guy are like, you know what? She's She's obviously going through something. Let's take her with us on vacation or holiday or whatever they're doing. Right. And as Eva's sleeping, her friend is looking around. Looking around, looking around. She sees the calendar. The calendar's like, hey, it's time. Well, what? I'll tell you something. What? Something fell in the background in oh. one of the rooms. So that triggered the friend to walk in the room, and that's when we saw all the old... Uh, pamphlets and like playbills uh, not playbills but like uh ads flyers for ava's old like ballet recitals and stuff when oh. she was able to dance before her accident i didn't see that yeah. so good catch yeah, something fell and the friend was like oh what's that let me go through here i was looking at all the old memories of ava's prior life as a dancer well so she sees the calendar the calendar's mm-hmm. like it's time bitch and she opens the next door. She sees a candy and she's like, oh my God, it has a penis on it. It's totally mine. I'm going to put it in my pocket. And so Eva's like, hey, hey, wait a minute. Did that just open? Did you get the candy? I need it. Give it to me. She's like, it was just gum. It was just a piece of gum. She's like, I want the gum. Give it to me. So she give her gives her a random piece of gum from her other pocket yeah. And she's chewing it religiously, and she's like, it's so weird. Nothing is happening. Not a single thing. That is so weird. Okay. Well, once they're in the car and the gum isn't doing anything, she dissociates again. Mm-hmm. And now she's in a car with a different friend. And the dif- the friend is talking and talking, and we can tell that it's pointless what she's saying. Right. And that it is a memory. All of a sudden, you see a bright light, and there's a car coming toward them. We realize this is the car crash. Yeah. She comes to, and she's with her friend at the house for the weekend, whatever. And she's talking to her friend, and her friend is just so dismissive. She's like, you're all right, right? And she's like, yeah, I guess I'm all right. Like, what the fuck? No. (laughs) No, I'm not all right. I just told you I had a nightmare. It was a bad memory. And whatever, it's fine. So, what we're looking at right now is the guy and the friend went hunting. Yeah. And when they come back after hunting, Eve is like, where's my dog? And the guy's like, um, we cremated it. Sorry. Like, oh my god. And she said, no, that's good. Like, what? (sighs) It was weird. I thought when she said... Where's my dog? She did not have any recollection of what she had done. Mm. No, she clearly knows what she did. Yeah. And at this point, we got to say, her eyes are sunken in. She's got bags under her <laughs> she's eyes. She's tired. She's stressed. It looks like she is not sleeping at all. This thing has got her fucked up, man. Yeah. But it's really good. It's been really good. Aside yeah. the dog thing. As long as it's not, like, something where I question if an animal is being abused on set, then I don't care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dead- Deadly Games had us questioning exactly Questionable. what they were doing. <laughs> At least this one didn't show the dog being murdered like Deadly Games did, which <laughs> I'm... Yeah. 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 So you say, we got about 26 minutes left in this movie. Do you want to do one more 15 minute, or do you want to just close it out? I kind of want to close it out. All right, let's do that. We'll open up those flannel doors, <laughs> eat those candies, and hope, see what happens. Hope we uh, appease the demon and don't die. We'll see. Maybe we'll be back. Maybe not. Oh, the suspense is killing you, isn't it? 
If anybody loves trains, it's me, Johnny Cash. You know, if your boy's under 10 like mine is, he needs a big Lionel like this Black River Freight. Lionel also makes HO gauge trains for older kids like this Burlington 181. But for smaller hands, the big Lionel is easier to handle than put on the track. This Christmas, get your boy a train that's built for the way young boys play. A big, rugged Lionel. Lionel, the big train for small hands. Just like that, it's over. It was fantastic. Oh, oh, I, oh, I, 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 oh. I think we should leave the end for people to discover on A lot own. happens. A lot happens in that last 20 minutes. Yeah. We got our TVMA. We did get our TVMA. <laughs> and a little then so, and a little more. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask you, this is, we're not really going to, I don't want to spoil the ending of this. This is too good, I think. Yeah. We've talked about a lot of this, but you really need to watch it to understand everything that's happening. It's like each day for each door, there's someone has to pay. Mm -hmm. And they're, they pay in a variety of ways. Some are really, really good. <laughs> that's, can we say yeah. that uh, her uh, stepmom dies? Oh, yeah. We can. <laughs> <clears throat> I, that was my favorite. That was beautiful. And it was just for fun. <laughs> so I ask you, what, what kind of a... If you had to rate this on a scale of one to five advent calendar doors... Ten. Ten? You're going to break the scale and go right to ten. I love this movie. I think I'm right there with you. I mean, how do they take such a simple concept... Mm-hmm. And I don't even think it's been done before. No. And it's such a simple concept. And they did it not only, not only was it a well told story, but the actors were really good. Mm -hmm. And the cinematography, like the underwater scene, and like that scene with the light coming through the trees, mm -hmm. and it's just really well done. It's beautifully shot. It's put together well. The it's, acting is solid. It's it's not only gore, which I love, and I didn't have to analyze it at all, mm -hmm. but then it's also psychological. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, because the entire time you're not sure if what she's seeing is truly from the effects of the calendar or if it's all in her head as a part of the accident. Yeah. And there are some twists and turns with this calendar. <laughs> I want to ask you this without giving anything away. Was it a satisfying ending for you? Usually not, but this time, yes. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I like that it was... Oh, I don't know how to not... Ugh, I can't. I can't say why I like it. Maybe it left you with more questions than answers. At no. The end. no. No. Okay. I hate movies that do that. <laughs> this did not do that. Okay. Okay. Glad we cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you give? I'm right there with you. I'll break the scale. I'll say 10. Yeah. This was, I'm glad we watched it. Superb. I would put this on again next year just to have on in the background. Yeah. As a holiday movie, just because... And it's not too holiday-y, mm -hmm. you know? It's just enough. Yeah. The only thing really holiday about it is it's set in December and there's an advent calendar for the holiday. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. There's that scene where it's like they have red everywhere, but mm -hmm. other than that, yeah. Yeah. This was good. We... Both recommended it. I think we both recommend it highly. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you don't have Shudder, it's worth it to get a trial just for this movie alone. When I saw the rating on Shudder, I was pleasantly surprised. It's five skulls. Yeah, there's not a lot of five skulls, and sometimes I question those because I've watched some five skulls, and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I give it quite that high. <laughs> yeah. But to each their own. And this is from 2021. Things. Yeah. It, it it was very, very good. Another solid French horror film. Mm-hmm. 
Wee oui, wee. So this, oui. this is how we actually are closing out Sleigh Bells Ring, Are You Frightened Month. Yeah. I mean, we do have something we're going to try and do for the new going into the new year. But I believe that's going to be an exclusive for some I, people. You know what? I don't want to give too much away because the more more you promise people, <laughs> the less likely it is to happen. <laughs> I, uh, I over-promise and under-deliver a lot. I, I get that. I get that. So I have the intention of recording for New Year's and hoping to do something we've been promising to do for a while. No promises, but I'm hoping. As it stands right now, we should be able to do it. Yeah. That, that's what I'll say. Yeah. As it stands right now. We may or may not turn it into a drinking game. You never know. <laughs> You'll just have to keep your eyes peeled. And where should they be checking for that, Leanne? I don't know. Google us, you know. <laughs> Ask Alexa or Siri or... Apple Podcasts. Google. Your best friends, because they listen to us. Yeah. Head over to skewerdhead.com. You can find all the social media links, Facebook, threads, Instagram. Instagram. We're all over the place. I don't post a lot, but I post importantly when we're having shows <laughs> out. Yeah. I'm, I'm not good at the social media stuff. That's that's one of my resolutions for 2024, to try to be better at it. You can get audio-only episodes over on our YouTube channel, which I'm going to be doing, trying to do more video stuff in the new year. So, fingers crossed I can do it. If I don't, mea culpa, I'll apologize now. <laughs> you know, why not? I'll apologize ahead of time in case I don't do it. Yeah. I have big expectations, and sometimes I gotta <laughs> bring myself into reality. Yeah. But when you go to skewerhead.com, you can also find links to our Patreon where you can support the show, help us bring this show to you and do more. And there's exclusive transmissions episodes you can get over there, and that's all I'm gonna say right now, because, Yeah. We don't want to give anything away. We're also with Podbean. We're with Podbean, and we are a Podbean affiliate. That means if you use our special link below in the show notes, you can get yourself a free month of podcast hosting with a paid unlimited plan. Helps us out. It helps you get a podcast started. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Get your voice out there. Exactly. And you can catch me on my other show, Tales of the Podcast, every Saturday. We go live. Yeah. Myself, my buddy JB, and Ron, we get together, we talk about bullshit and bullshit. And we're currently going through the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, which has been a lot of fun so far. So check us out over there. I think that's it. Yeah. Got anything else to say to the lovely people? Uh, suck my candy cane. And with that, ho, ho, ho. 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 <laughs> Keep enjoying that universe that's just a bit skewered. We're all full of pride and running through a bloody wonderland. Ho, ho, ho. ho.